Greetings, uh, Den Warren here. I want to talk to the Christians in the audience. Um, thanks for uh, checking in. When the rapture comes, we're going to leave it all behind. And right now it's looking like there's more and more things that we would just like to leave behind. I'm sure you would agree. Um, we've, our bodies will be changed. We'll have no more physical ailments. Um, example of that is we have a handicapped son. He will be healed from all his ailments. You won't have any more money problems or problems with failed technology. You won't be living in an oppressive, disgusting world. You'll miss out on the, hopefully, the next pandemic. And you'll miss out on World War III. And I don't think none of us will miss this good being evil and evil being good stuff. Um, those of you who are still working, you'll have no more narcissistic or otherwise problematic, ultra-needy co-workers. It seems like they're always around. Um, no more coddling of criminals. And they, and they want control over everything in the world so bad, they can just have it. There's nothing here that, that we're going to miss. We're not going to miss anything on earth. Whatever we love on earth, It'll be replaced with something far, far better in God's heaven. And Jesus said in John 14, verse 2, In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. So you know these places have been being prepared for 2,000 years. And these mansions... Probably this is the only thing, the only word that God can use to describe what he has for us that we would even begin to understand. It's going to be so miraculous and fantastic that we can't even conceive of it now. And I think all this is going to happen pretty soon. It looks like World War III is, we're, we're slipping and slipping into that. In, in God's word, it appears we will not be here for any of that. We'll be gone. And we're so ready for that. Granted, we have a job to do while we're here. We need to keep doing it. And that's the great commission to go out and tell people about the gospel, tell them about Jesus. It's really important to note that heaven is not going to be for most people. And we don't want to leave people behind. It's, it's terrible to think that we might do that or we will be doing that. And that we've perished the thought that we didn't give a full effort to try and win as many as we could before this happens. Um, people think that if they live a good life, that they'll, that's how they'll be judged. Our vision of a good life is nothing like God's idea of a good life. God's idea of a good life is a sinless life, and only Jesus has can pay the sin debt that we have because he's holy and he's God come as man. We have to believe on Jesus to gain eternal life. Um, but Jesus is real the Bible is real heaven is real hell is real and we need to keep that in mind while we're still here but it just is good once in a while to think about our future maybe it helps us keep us going a little more um, so I'm glad to have spoken to you today and appreciate you listening um, consider smashing the like button and please subscribe. Thanks so much.